Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Digital Studio and today I'm going to share with you a free shadow transition in DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download the transition by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, and the DRFX file. To install the transition, you can just double click on the DRFX file. It will just prompt open that window asking you if you want to install, just click install and that will be installed on your computer. You can then open DaVinci Resolve, go over to Effect, Video Transition, Video Data Studio, and then here in Sample, you will have the Tilt Shadow Transition available. Now let's apply it to some video clips. So here I'm going to go to my media pool. I'm going to drag a first clip and a second clip in my timeline. Now, as you can see, if I try to drag the tilt directly onto the video clip, it doesn't work there is nothing happening. It's because in order to apply a video transition, you need to trim a bit of the excess to give space for the transition to happen. So here, I'm just gonna trim a little bit this one, trim a little bit this one, and then now we can apply the transition and drag it directly onto our clip. If we play it, you can see that now the transition has been applied. By default, it will be one second, but we can extend it to be, for example, three seconds, and it will just take longer. Right now, by default, the movement is going down, but we could just go and switch to up right there, and now the movement will go up. It's a shadow transition, so by default, it's black, as you can see, but you can change that color if we want, for example, here to pick the blue of all clip to make it match. We could do that right there, and now it will basically be a different kind of transition. For those two clips that might not make sense to change the color, uh, but for example, here I have two other clips that have some dirt flying around and the dirt are about the same color. So that could be a good opportunity here to apply a transition. So if we try to do that right here, having just, you know, a black transition will work, but we could also just select the color of the dirt here by going to background, again, selecting something. Now I want it to happen faster because here one second might be too long. So I'm going to reduce that a little bit. And as you can see, we're going to use the dirt as an excuse to here, just having that transition and go over to the smoke in the next clip. So here we go. That will be my main piece of advice. Just don't try to slap a random transition between two clips that doesn't match. Try to find where they could just work properly and use a transition to complement that and enhance transition between the two clips rather than trying to force it between clips that doesn't necessarily match in the first place. If you like that transition and you would like to have more, we just released a shadow transition pack with 20 different transitions. It's now available on our website and I hope you will like it. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.